Hi, we are just continuing to our tutorial. So far, we have created our header and footer. And for the footer, as you might remember, the copyright text part was showing as white. So I'm just going to go in and give it a background color. I'm just going to back to layout screen, click in my footer, and click in wrap for CSS. Giving it a background color 23, 23, 23. I got this color value through Photoshop. You can use any software you want to get color value in hex values. Click in save, click in save layout. Come in here back, refresh in my page. And yes, I have my footer set, I have my header set. Now let's fill in the header part with the logo i'm just clicking view image i have my logo clicking file save pages and saving my logo now as i have saved my logo i'm just going to ultimate some general settings so i'll be able to place my logo i'm just setting title as logo as off so it will show my image clicking insert image Dragging and dropping my file here. It's there. Clicking use this. My image is here. Clicking save changes. Now I'm going back to templates. Clicking layout. Going to my header. And as you might remember, I have registered a two third uh, one third part for the logo i'm dragging and dropping ultimatum logo nothing is going to change i'm just clicking save coming refreshing my page and my logo is here now i just want some padding etc to have this uh, placed correctly so for that reason I can use column CSS or the general CSS and I'll be using the general CSS for that reason. I'm just going to do it later. Now let's come back to our site and I think I have just got it to another window, sorry about that. Okay. Now I have my second part which is we have redesigned stuff and our image I'm just looking at this image okay this image is itself a total image let's do something different here I'm just saving image as and saving this image as told we will be going to also improve this layout I'm going to my Photoshop and I'm opening the home showcase part. Now I will just zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to cut this image out. I'm not a very good designer so it will not be perfect but you will get the idea when I'm done okay so what I'm doing is that I'm getting this as a frame so I'm just going to this one okay now I'll just check the image size let's see it's 4287 uh, I'll just type it in some text so I will not forget it 400 and 257 okay nice 
I'm just canceling this and going to step backward and let's see the size of the original image it's 459 versus 362 nice okay now I'm just coming back to my Firefox so here we have a shade I think here I, I think it's a color actually let's see with firebug as I told before firebug is a very very nice uh, thing to use okay yes they have an image here so I'm just going to get this image right clicking open an image in new tab and I'm just saving this image and let's look at it at Photoshop so we will have an idea about what this image is doing it has a gradient or etc okay I'm just opening it getting my color tool let's look at it it's yes there is a background change here so as we are going to create the exact same I'm also going to use this image so I have the image and the image size is 454 pixels I'm just coming here going back to my layout screen now I'm clicking home and for this wrapper I'll be using the background image I have just downloaded which is our body for JPEG okay I just wanted to repeat horizontally and the height was 454 I'm saving it okay now we have another thing to play we have this image here I'll be just putting it as a background image so I'm coming to back uh, my layout settings clicking container CSS background image and set it as our this image I just want it on top right I don't want it to repeat I'm just hit and save so I'm saving the layout let's come back here and see what we have okay I think I have missed something but I have my background set here let's check the container CSS again let me see my background image here yes it is there so yeah we didn't give any height to this and this image was uh, 362 pixels height so I'm just giving 362 here I'm clicking save save layout so the image shows up here nice now what I'm going to do is that I'll just play around with the paddings etc when I'm done with this part let's continue we have this we design stuff part here let's see what's this this is an h1 and its color is this okay I'm just copying this value uh, its font size is 42 fonts weight is bold they have letter spacing 
This can only be done through custom CSS for the moment. And they have line height 32. Okay. Let's just go to layout settings and edit CSS. I'm just coming here and say my H1 colors will be this. Uh, they are using Trochava as font base. Okay. Let's make it 42 to 42. It's better to have line height equal to or greater than your regular uh, text size. And we can save changes. Okay, I have done my H1 text. Let's come back to here and see we have the H1 blah blah to H6 here. Just copying this HTML and I'm just placing it as a text widget because this will be only on home page. I can use other tools as well. Okay, so we had the last part. So let's make it like that. Maybe this will work. Yes, fine. I'm just saving this and refreshing my page. Okay, everything is here, but the fonts are messed. So we are just going to fix the fonts. Let's keep this for later again. I'm just coming back to the screen. <clears throat> now I have a shadow here and then a gradual green here which is again an half and half part. I'm just clicking the background image and save an image as subfilter fill. Okay. The naming of images are great by the way. And now we have this shadow here. I'm clicking new image again and subfilter blur. Okay. I'm saving image again and it didn't say okay nice now i'm back to my layout screen i'm clicking wrapper css and given my this fill image which is 600 pixels in height clicking open okay let's give height 600 pixels and click save Okay, this part is done. Now for the container, which is in the middle part, I'll be given the other image. I'm clicking upload image and it's sub to blur. And I'm selecting is at top center for the image location and no repeat. It's in save again. And then let's come back to their site. They have again a text box here. Let's copy this part and drop our text widget again. I'm just pasting the text here. I'm just using text widgets here because they do not have any dynamic text here. So you can use anything you want. I'm just gonna save it out. Now, when I'm back to my page, yes, I have my blur here, shadow, etc. Everything is working fine. Now, what I need is some padding here to set the title, font, etc. And fill in this part. Okay, we're half further. Operator. Now I'm just coming back to their page. What I see is that they have latest web design and development work here. And this is their portfolio with three columns and three rows. So let's create a custom post type named portfolio. I'm coming back to my screen, going to custom post types and adding a post type and giving it name portfolio 
and portfolio items singular is portfolio item okay I need title I need editor I don't need excerpt trackbacks custom fields I don't want comments uh, I don't want revisions I want fe featured image I don't want author I'm clicking say post type and I have my portfolio items here now let's go back to their site and click view image save image okay view image save image this is a bit boring stuff but we will be happy when it's done save image save okay oops sorry about that view image okay view image save image save we have done this one let's do this one view image save image let's save okay one more view image and save image save now we have done all the six first portfolio items and I'll just insert one with you I'm clicking add portfolio item and given its name Beltway Brewery as it's their client's name now it's fine here let's set a featured image here and I'm dropping the file okay I have the image here use this as a featured image and close the screen and publish my portfolio I'll just stop the video right now so I'll be adding the other portfolio items after I'm done with adding them I'll continue hitting the video thanks for watching the video if you have any problems please please ask your questions in our forums see you in a bit bye